Hi guys, how are we doing? Um, yeah, so here we are in my kitchen. Please excuse everything. We'll just do that. There we go. Hi! Welcome to the kitchen. <laughs> okay, so um, a couple of years ago, Tani and I got really excited and we went out foraging and we found this really great apple tree and we found a place to get a gazillion elderberries and a gazillion hawthorns and a bunch of sloes and some damsons and some blackberries and we went mad and came home with like five big shopping bags full of forage stuff, right? Which we made shitloads of stuff with. And that was great and it was wonderful. And one of the things that I made <laughs> was some hedgerow chutney in these size jars. I made two of them, okay? One of them I undid yesterday and um, tried some for the first time in like forever. Okay, so it's been sitting in the cupboard for two years and I decided to try a bit on some cheese on toast and it was lovely. And then I crunched on something and I couldn't figure out what it was and it just felt really, really weird. And it shattered into a million pieces by the time I got it out of my mouth. But then there was another one, another one, another one. And I suddenly dawned on me that the hawthorn berries, I'd left all the hawthorn seeds in the berries when normally I would cook them all off first separately, put it through all the sieves so you don't have the seeds. Yeah. So 12 pounds of hawthorn chutney later. <laughs> um, I don't really want to get rid of that. It's really, really nice. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you what can be done when you have too much chutney, but you don't want to waste it. Come on, come on, come on, going, down here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go through all the jars and stick them in our preserving pan. Now two of these jars have been put through the blender already but they've still got all the stones in them um, because the reason I found out about the hawthorn berries was because um, I was taking some over to Tani's son and I decided it's probably what happened. I wanted to make sure because some people like chutney with bits, some don't. So yeah, <laughs> I put some through the blender so you'd have some smooth. It ain't that smooth. So yeah, oh we've got it fully loaded. What we need to do with this lot is we're going to um, warm it up, heat it through. Oh come on, don't you dare. It's well sealed. <laughs> Um, elderberries that I did in syrup so they can go in as well because I want them out of the fridge now there we go right now this lot's going to go on until it's ready to simmer and once it's simmering we're going to turn it off and we're going to put it through the blender okay so we've got to the point where we have started simmering which is hot enough for what we need to do. We're not trying to boil it again. 
At this stage, we're just wanting to heat it up because it's easier to do the blending while it's warm and malleable than it is when it's cold. So I'm just gonna turn that off now. And then, I've got another pot with us. We have another pot with a sieve on it at this point. I'm just gonna bring this small place in. That's what we're doing. There. And I need a cup. This'll do. Have a cup. Go a cup. Straighten the blender. Now you'll notice there's some bay leaves in there. I wouldn't worry. Oh shit. Don't worry about it so much. It's getting blended anyway, right? Yeah. Okay. Shit happens. God. Today, man. Today. <laughs> Just today. on get the lid on now because we've actually warmed this up I'm gonna get a tea towel fold it a couple of times and hold it on the top because the blender has a tendency to blow its lid from the pressure of the steam are you really you're gonna cause me to as much of that through there as possible. silly obviously just just human it's all I can say to this I am human <laughs> this bothers me right another stone shit yeah because I've overfilled the sieve that's that's all it is it's basically come down to the fact that I've overfilled the sieve let's just try again we're gonna try again okay get this through the sieve it's 
going to take a while. You could be here for days. I'm just saying. Do you know what it smells like? It smells like one of those really nice Chinese plum sauces. That's what it kind of smells like to me. Almost like a hoisin and a plum sauce. Actually, it smells amazing. I'll be back. Right, so this is the last one. Um, by the look of what's in the pot, we've managed to get about two, three litres of ketchup out of this lot. Which, quite honestly, is bloody brilliant. <laughs> I'm knackered. <laughs> I need a broom. <laughs> So basically, once this last one's done, we're just going to warm this through. Make oh, you bastard! I've done it again. Why is it when you guys are watching? Seriously, I've gone through this whole thing. It's you guys. Stop watching. <laughs> stop watching me. <laughs> no, don't stop watching. Um. <laughs> We're going to heat it through. But basically, the main lesson we've learnt here today is the only difference between chutney and ketchup is a blender and, and a sieve and a little bit of work. So if you have an overabundance of chutney that you don't think is going to get used, um, turn it into a sauce. Not that hot. Okay. Oh. Right. Scrape what's left on the bottom off. We don't want to lose that. Get rid of that. Ta da. Turn it on. Now, all we're going to do with this is bring it to a simmer. three litres in there that, that's pretty awesome actually and it looks amazing oh my god yeah I like it better this way than I do as a chutney actually so this sauce now when it comes to the bubble um, I'm gonna bottle it in our bottles um, 
yeah and then we'll use it like as we would normal ketchup or we could use it in casseroles we could use it as a barbecue sauce kind of meat marinade kind of thing or a veggie marinade there are all sorts of things you could do with this and honestly it's worth it really worth it it's bloody lush actually really good I mean I don't know if you can see look at that color how sexy is that color it's like this purplish reddish brownish color oh my god good lord that's some good squishy right there and like I said in this house it's more likely to be used in this way than it is in chutney I really only have chutney when I'm having something like a plowman's or just a cheat to go with a cheese board very rarely do I actually eat chutney as chutney. So, um, but sauce, yeah. Oh my God. I think I could drink that. Right, now it's a bottle. These bottles have been sterilised, um, so don't put them just in a plain bottle that hasn't been. It's just lots of fun. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh my God. You would have seen these types of bottles here before. These are Tony's recycled beer bottles. Um, because I prefer to recycle and keep what we've got and buy new ones unless I absolutely have to. Especially when they're as expensive as they are. It's like, bugger off, mate. this cup hang on Let's do that in a minute I'm covered Oof. <laughs> God. Oh, do you know what guys I don't mind you guys seeing that I screw it up because I'm just a human I'm just a human being like everybody else We all cock it up from time to time. It just is what it is, right? But I don't want you to think either that just because I do what I do, I've done what I've done in my life, that I'm perfect, because I'm not. I'm just a human being who makes as many mistakes as everybody else. One more bottle after this. 
Oof. There we go. Right. rest I put in a container oh my god I have to tip some of it out guys because I need to put the cork in Yeah, it does. It tastes like a cross between a fruity HP sauce and a Chinese plum sauce. Mm. It's lush. Proper lush. Right, guys, so I've got five 750ml bottles out of that lot what's left in there which makes me quite happy actually because that gives me actually nearly four litres a happy go all right see you guys later <laughs> have fun thanks for sticking with me with this one guys <laughs> it's, been, it's been a bit of a day as you can see I am absolutely covered in it everywhere but at the end of the day we managed to save something that we probably wouldn't have been able to save you know otherwise so just remember there are ways of saving things if you make too much turn it into a sauce it's the easiest way to go about it okay guys I'm gonna go thanks for being here really do appreciate it have a really really great rest of your day love you guys heaps bye